Oh, here's a new one for the uh, gadgets playlist. Uh, we were sent an oscilloscope for a product review. Loto Instruments asked me if I'd uh, take a look at their oscilloscopes. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, uh, you might be more familiar with Saint Smart. Uh, these are the same people. The um, oscilloscope in question is the um, OSC 482. Uh, it can be found on Amazon for about 65 bucks US. So uh, if we're looking for uh, something that is uh, in line with the message on the gadgets playlist to have uh, budget priced and capable uh, equipment for automotive diagnostics, it's starting off on the right foot. It came with uh, two of these uh, probes. They're uh, 60 megahertz, uh, 10 times uh, compensation probes. Basic specs for this uh, oscilloscope. Uh, the native uh, input is plus or minus 5 volt. It's a uh, 20 megahertz bandwidth. It has a maximum uh, 50 mega sample per second uh, sampling rate. You may recognize that these uh, specs are very much like the Hantech 6022BE uh, that you see me use uh, frequently on this channel. The OSC482 uh, comes with Windows support. I've tested it. It's rock solid. Um, it triggers well. Um, it will capture waveforms without frustration. Um, it's very nice. In the top right hand corner, you see that little box. That is a waveform recording feature. So you can save uh, about 450 pages of uh, waveform. And uh, the beauty is that you can uh, recall them and play them back. That's a very useful feature, and it seems to be working flawlessly. There's a separate Windows-based module that uh, Lodo refers to as paperless recording. What that is really is a data logger. You can set the interval and duration, and you can monitor equipment for up to uh, 72 hours with that module. The um, OSC 482 has recently been given uh, Android support. That's the environment under which we're going to be testing it. Uh, this is not an uh, unboxing video. Uh, there's no substitute for real-world uh, testing. I've selected three automotive tests that we're going to subject this oscilloscope to. They weren't uh, chosen at random. So when we perform these tests, I'll tell you why they were selected and what I'm seeking to uh, derive um, from the capabilities of the uh, oscilloscope in being able to perform them. So uh, let's head out the garage and uh, do it. So I've chosen as the first test here for the um, Loto OSC 42 uh, to take a secondary ignition waveform with the cop probe that we build on this channel. The reason I've chosen that is that this probe generates voltages that are very uh, well within that plus or minus uh, 5 volt uh, native input of the uh, 482. I'm just going to be using my uh, Samsung smartphone with that. And uh, the probe is connected to channel 1 on the uh, oscilloscope. So uh, let's uh, fire up the uh, engine here. We're using the cop probe settings. I've got the trigger set at 3 kilovolts. I'm using 50 kilo samples per second. We're scoping. There you go. So I brought it to the uh, coil number one, and uh, we're getting a very good uh, reading on the secondary waveform. It's a multi strike technology, as you'll remember on the Ford at idle. So at 50 kilo samples per second on a real time scan, uh, we're picking up. Um, a pretty good uh, waveform here. I want to show you something that's pretty interesting that I cannot do on the 6022 and that is a, a single capture at one mega sample per second and I'm not usually big on taking big sample rates but uh, let's try this here. So it's scanning, it's waiting for the signal, let's bring it close to the coil at one mega sample per second. It took a single capture. 
pretty nice. I know that if I try that on the 6022, I can't use a high sample rate like this to uh, capture a single shot. I'm told that I should be able to, but I've done quite a bit of this. And uh, the 42 is the only one that's doing it at this high of a sample rate. So for the next test, we're going to be switching vehicles. All of the uh, loto oscilloscopes come with hardware-based uh, AC coupling. It's not something that you tend to find in uh, devices in this price range. It means it doesn't need uh, an external DIY coupler uh, that uh, we built in Gadget 45 or uh, modifications uh, as we did to the HT1008 in Gadget 46. It's the reason for uh, the choice of my second test to be uh, an AC ripple uh, test on that alternator to uh, see how um, the um, OSC 42 behaves uh, doing um, AC coupling work. We've got alligator clip set on the alternator. H bolt is set at 25 volts sample per second. We're in AC couple mode. Let's take a reading here. Pinch that. There you are. That's a very nice uh, AC ripple. Not excessive. It has that classic letter M, multiple letter M uh, kind of uh, pattern. Um, job well done. Most automotive oscilloscope work is dealing with some very low frequency events, uh, maybe a couple hundred hertz. Um, a fuel pump test where you're checking the segments on the commutator uh, might be one kilohertz. So that's considered uh, high frequency in automotive work. Another example of uh, the higher end of your uh, requirements on frequency for uh, oscilloscope work on automotive stuff is the CAN bus. And uh, that's going to be our next test. We've got uh, the breakout box connected to the uh, DLC. Pin number 6 uh, can high to uh, channel 1, pin number 14 can low to channel 2. So not only are we uh, subjecting the OSC 482 to some of the higher uh, frequency demands uh, that we would uh, encounter in automotive work, we're testing it here using two channels. Okay, key on, engine off. So um, the CAN bus is talking and um, we're into real-time scan and it kind of with uh, 125 kilo samples per second uh, we can kind of tell that um, the uh, CAN bus uh, is within specs here but it's flying by uh, pretty quick and uh, this is where the automotive module comes in pretty handy to uh, be able to uh, take a closer look at it. So uh, we're going to go into the auto module and we're going to press record and we're going to record a few seconds of it. All right. There, I think we've got enough to uh, take a good look at it. So as we stop that, now we can pinch and zoom. So um, this is a very nice uh, capture and what I like about the auto mo module is that um, you're able to use that uh, bottom uh, scroll line very effectively and if you, you know, you're, you're able to scroll through our whole time frame that we captured here and have a closer look. So. Everything is as it should be. Uh, you're getting that symmetrical um, thing about the two and a half volt uh, line, uh, one volt on either side of it from the can high to the can low. And um, that's, a, that's a very nice uh, signal. It's nice and clean. It was very quick to uh, capture. We can be happy with that.
So that kind of does it for here. We're um, going to go back into the studio. So the tests that we just uh, performed uh, successfully uh, were all within the plus or minus 5 volt range of uh, DOSC 42. Um, that would go for any um, uh, test done on the uh, 5 volt reference automotive sensors and the vehicles. Should you need to probe uh, at higher voltages, uh, at battery voltage for instance, this uh, oscilloscope has a 1 mega ohm impedance, so that's standard, and it will accept all of the uh, attenuators, including the 4 time attenuator that we build on this channel. That would bring uh, the input voltage to plus or minus 20 volt for this device. And uh, that's a real uh, sweet spot for uh, battery level type of testing. Lodo has three models in its oscilloscope lineup. This uh, OSC 482, which um, is the 20 megahertz bandwidth, 50 mega sample per second uh, sampling rate. It has window support. Android support, including the 8-scope automotive module. The next in the lineup is the OSC 802. It has 25 megahertz uh, bandwidth, 80 mega sample per second uh, sample rate. It has Windows support, Android support without the 8-scope automotive module. Finally, uh, the OSC 2002. Uh, is a 50 megahertz bandwidth, one giga sample per second, Windows support, and as of yet, no Android support. Uh, that model is really targeted at the electronics enthusiast. All three of these models have this unique 15 pin connector, which allows for expansion modules, such as this one. This is a function generator. It can generate uh, sine waves, triangular and square waves up to 13 megahertz frequency. There are other third party uh, modules that uh, can plug into here, uh, providing uh, like logic analyzers, uh, custom hardware uh, external triggers, uh, address the four pin uh, GPIO that's, that's in here. The um, connector is um, open source. The pinout is well documented. It allows for uh, enterprising uh, do-it-yourselfers such as you and I to uh, come up with our own applications. And uh, it's already got me thinking. I want to show you something else about uh, this uh, OSC 482 that I think is quite remarkable. For that, I gotta go back to the Windows environment. I'm gonna grab my laptop over here. I've got the OSC 42 USB plugged in. The uh, BNCs are left open, there's nothing connected. Let's open the software. So if you have a look at this um, zero volt line, there's hardly any noise to speak of. This is only like a 20 millivolt per division scale here. And if you had uh, those hand techs like the 6022 and in particular the 1008, you would end up feeling like where I'm going with this cursor, it would kind of oscillate right around this, like uh, much more noise than what you see here. There's a second thing that is uh, quite remarkable by the um, OSC42 here. And that is that uh, it stays on the zero volt calibration. This thing came out of the box that way. It um, hasn't drifted. And the 1008 in particular, uh, if you uh, calibrate it and you don't take a reading uh, soon thereafter, you have to recalibrate again because it will have drifted in that time period. So uh, what I see here um, about this zero line, that's quite remarkable uh, on the part of the OSC 42. So full disclosure, I'm not receiving any financial uh, compensation for doing this review. I agreed to do it in the hopes of finding 
another oscilloscope that we could add to the list of uh, affordable and capable uh, units for um, automotive style diagnostic work. I think that the OSC 42 belongs on the list and it actually belongs at the top of it. These guys take care.